good day. I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your GIS News for Friday, November 1. A bill to introduce a single piece of legislation to regulate all charitable organizations was passed in the House of Representatives on Tuesday, October 29. The Charities Act 2013 is a key part of the extended fund facility between Jamaica and the International Monetary Fund. The Act establishes a comprehensive legal and institutional framework for the private voluntary sector operating in Jamaica. It will facilitate the registration, regulation, administration and governance of these entities. The Charities Act as one of its main objectives is designed to maintain, protect, and enhance public trust and confidence in charitable organizations. The legislation was passed with three amendments and will be sent to the Senate for its approval. The banana sector is poised to benefit significantly from a set of grants valued at several million euros from the European Union. 1.9 million euros has been awarded to the Banana Board to help farmers with technical support to improve production and productivity. Agriculture and Fisheries Minister Roger Clark says this is part of measures to revive and reposition the industry to increase output while securing the welfare of workers. The major objective is to reduce the cost of production for farmers and for agribusinesses. The All Island Banana Growers Association will also receive over 2 million euros from the Jamaica BAMs to develop markets. Minister Clark was speaking at the Banana Board's 60th anniversary celebration Tuesday. He said the ministry would also be signing a new four-year successor program for the Jamaica Banana Accompanying Measures Project to the tune of 4.7 million euros. Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson says there has been a 20% reduction in asthmatic admissions to hospitals since the imposition of the no-smoking policy in specified public spaces. The ban was imposed on July 15 with the implementation of the Public Health Tobacco Control Regulations 2013. The regulations are consistent with the government's strategic focus on human capital development in relation to health care. Minister Ferguson is encouraging Jamaicans to continue supporting the ban, asserting that the country will see the gains in terms of having a healthier society. And within another couple of years, you will see as happened in Northern Ireland and other countries, less heart attack, less stroke. And this is not at any big cost. All I ask of Jamaica is for support. That's all I'm asking. Dr. Ferguson was speaking at the official launch of the Heart Foundation of Jamaica's annual Run for Your Heart event on October 29 at Emancipation Park in New Kingston. He said efforts against tobacco advertising and promotion would also be intensified in accordance with Article 13 of the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. The National Sports Museum could be completed within the next 12 months. Government is setting up the facility to celebrate the achievements of Jamaica's sportsmen and women. The Capacity Building and Infrastructure Committee of the National Sports Council is in charge of the project. Committee Chairman Don Anderson says a decision to set a timeline for the completion of the museum was taken at a recent meeting. He tells GIS News that the committee has identified a number of possible sites to house the museum. They include space in the new Kingston Shopping Centre, a facility in downtown Kingston and a vacant lot adjacent to the National Stadium. So far, he says, the committee has begun to select artifacts for the museum, some of which were showcased at an exhibition held at the National Arena during the London Olympics last year. So far, he says, the committee has begun to select artifacts for the museum, some of which were showcased at an exhibition held at the National Arena during the London Olympics last year. Mr. Anderson is appealing to the public to donate or lend sports-related items to the museum, which will be interactive, fun and entertaining, as well as educational and informative. And finally, as the country continues to observe Fire Safety Awareness Week, Jamaicans are being encouraged to place sharper focus on fire prevention. Just to become more aware, uh, just to start to look at their surroundings, um, and not just this one week in October, but consistently to see what are the hazards that are around them that can cause a fire or to increase the extent of a fire should it start and then really to take steps to reduce it. The last week in October each year is observed as Fire Safety Awareness Week with this year's theme being fire prevention or priority. 
A number of events have already been staged and on Friday, November 1, the Jamaica Fire Brigade closed out its week of activities at Emancipation Park in Kingston with an exhibition and concert. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Thank you for watching.